today's video, I want to talk to you about wind, specifically at Camp Perry. Welcome back to 10X Power Up, everyone. My name is Steve. So I'd like to share with you a couple principles that I've used over the years that seem to help me out pretty well. The first thing I want to share with you is full value wind, no wind zero, and where your bullet will impact that target. We're going to talk about the clock principle, full value, half value, no value. And then we're going to do an average of our wind between our lowest reading and highest reading, make a wind call and see where it's going to impact our target. There's two key things that are critical in shooting in the wind. One is knowing your, what your zero is and two is your position. Both have to be rock solid. Now, when I first started shooting, I had no idea what wind would do to bullet placement on a target. It was totally foreign to me, totally new. So I came up with this theory after hearing the Army say that for every one mile per hour wind, it moves your bullet impact three inches on the target, which equates to a half minute dope adjustment. So on this target here, orange dots represent three inches on the target, one mile per hour wind. And what I'm gonna reference here is last June at Camp Perry, on June 25th, the flag over my shoulder is running full value and that's what I made my dope call off of, okay? So, each one of these dots represents three inches. That's one mile per hour wind per dot. So that being said, if this is my no wind zero, and I took my first shot and did absolutely no adjustment whatsoever, no dope adjustment, and I had three minutes on my gun, in theory, the wind was blowing right to left, that would have taken me out to the six ring, because this is one minute, two minutes, three minutes into the six ring, okay? So by putting three minutes on the gun, it brought me back into this area. And I pretty much stayed there for the whole match. Now, it may have been different for other people, but this is what I did and it seemed to work well for me. And a couple things are critical here. The wind, this is my data book from last year, was running four to seven miles per hour. And I picked somewhere in the middle. I picked three minutes, okay? So three minutes is roughly a six mile an hour wind, but it was going from four to seven. So I was somewhere in the middle. Now what that means is, if my call was perfect, all my shots were gonna be here. But we know I picked an average, right? So my shots, and it's my data book, they were going left to right, left to right. What that means is, you don't always have to be perfect on your wind call. And sometimes close enough is okay. So for example, three minutes was here, but if the wind let up a half a minute, which we said earlier equals three inches on the target, now my shot's gonna be in this area. If the wind picked up a half a minute from my three minute dope call, now my shot's gonna be in this area. And if it had led off to exactly what my dope call was, I was right here in this area. And this is what my data book represents from that match last year. Critical components to calling wind is exactly that, is your data book. This data book is solely for Camp Perry. It's got several years of history in it. And the other thing that's very critical, especially if you don't shoot wind very often, is get yourself a wind card. They're very accurate and will help you out quite a bit. So this is my theory after listening to what the Army said about bullet placement and what one mile per hour wind will do to your bullet. All right, so before we get to the clock principle, if you like the information I've shared with you so far, give me a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you very much. So the clock principle is exactly that. It's going to, the wind direction is gonna reference a clock, okay? So everything in front of you or behind you, which is seven to five o'clock, or 11 to one o'clock is considered no value. That'll have the least effect on your bullet. Full value is gonna be eight to 10, and it's gonna be two to four across your target. And half value is gonna be 10 to 11 in this direction, five to four in this direction, and seven to eight going in this direction, and one to two coming down in this direction. So I sincerely hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, reach out to me. Let me know what your interests are. Let's start a conversation if you like high power. I'm sure the things I have learned over the years and mistakes I've made, I can share with you and ease your growing pain. I'm considering doing some videos on the shooting mind, things that I've learned over the years. If you think that would be interesting, let me know in the comment section below. A couple things you're gonna need to call wind you should always have in your, in your cart. One is a wind card. Have a data book for every range that you go to and a wind meter. Now one thing that I do every year I'm at Camp Perry or Talladega is I'll take pictures of the flags when I get off the firing line. 
This way I know what I had the previous year and it's a good reference. So that being said, thanks for watching 10X Power Up. Have a great day and hope to see you on the range.